Hello there gaming fans as well as my amazing YouTube subscribers and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. In this video we're actually going to be traveling in the Utah DLC and we're going from Vernell to somewhere. I'm not really sure. It doesn't actually show me in my display. I tried to look for it. Well, let me check my map. All right, where am I headed? Where where be? Uh, so just, I'm going to say this is Salt Lake. So it's just outside of Provo, uh, but it looks like it's in the in the Salt Lake City area. So we're going to head to there. Uh, I went ahead and did the, the camera for the control panel, the shifter, and the, the steering wheel. But let's go ahead and start her Time up. Time to hit the road. Time to hit the road. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Go ahead and release the air brake. Go ahead and turn on my beacons as well as my engine brake just to be able to slow down a little bit faster going around corners. I'm not sure if that's the way I'm supposed to be doing it or supposed to be using the retarder or anything like that. Like I said, I'm not a professional you know, truck driver, so I just play it to be fun. Well, let's go ahead and roll out of here. I am hauling around this, uh, I don't even know what this is, just the top part of a dump truck. But they call it something else, I just don't remember what they call it. Uh, so, also, guys, if I am not doing this correctly, make sure to let me down out in the comments below, like, especially, like, shifting-wise. I kind of, I mean, I've mentioned it, <laughs> even in this video. I'm not a professional truck driver. I literally do it for fun. I work from home for a living, so I don't have to usually worry about this kind of stuff. So, um, if you if i'm doing it wrong or if i have the button set up wrong i try to watch some youtube videos to get it set up but everybody likes their stuff different um and i tried to even watch some videos of people who had a like had a real truck in real life and sorry i'm just trying to double check and make sure i'm gonna get around here so i hope it's gonna come over there we go beautiful i think I hope. I hope. Oh, that was close. Man, look at this traffic here. I hope I'm not going to hit anything on this right side. Um, so, again, if I'm not doing it right, put it in the comments below. I welcome constructive criticism as long as you're like, dude, you suck. You know, obviously that's not going to be constructive at all. So if you uh, if you have know a way that I'm doing it wrong, you know, please help me fix it. Uh, I'm all about that. So... Oh my gosh, this is so intense. I'm either going to hit one of those things on the right side or I'm going to hit a vehicle. And either one is going to be bad because I'm going to lose money. I don't like losing money. I just hired a new truck driver too and bought a new truck. I think I have four truck drivers now um, working for me. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, so last night, I was playing this game last night and I was using the Toby, you know, because that's what I use. Uh, I don't use the um, the head tracker that goes on a hat or anything like that. Uh, I use the Toby eye tracker because I don't have to wear anything extra. And it tracks my eyes. Uh, and then it also tracks my head movements. Uh, but, so I was using the Toby gaming hub. And I mentioned this in a previous video where... Uh, the, the game hub seems to work a little bit better than the Toby Eye Tracker inside the American Truck Simulator. And this is like a recent development. Uh, the developer of the Toby Eye Tracker, um, VJoy, I think is what it was, that would need to update it for us to be able to use it inside of American Truck Simulator, stopped doing it. And so there was no way we could use the head tracking. So the wonderful company that SDS Software is, they decided to go ahead and put it into the game. And so since they did so, uh, I'm, a, I'm now able to use it. I'm gonna try, but I'm not, I, I've, been, I've done this before. Don't beep at me. It beeps at me because I'm not in the right lane. But I can't really do a whole lot about that. Go straight on. Uh, as long as I don't get, as long as I don't lose like, they make me restart over again. I'm fine with it. Um, anyway, so I... Last night, I was playing with the Toby Hub. You know, no big deal. I was using it. Everything was working perfectly. Uh, then I woke up this morning to record some videos. And all of a sudden, here I am, not able to use it. And in the software, it says, you know, the eye tracking settings for this game are, can be found inside the game. I'm like, dang it. <laughs> so now I'm using the to the the Toby settings inside the game. 
it's not as fluid. It's going to take some uh, some work on my part to get it where it needs to be, but that's fine. Uh, you know, everything's going to, mm, pardon me, uh, everything's going to work better, you know, in the game itself, right? So we'll just see how that works out. I've got my beacon on, right? Oh, I did not. I guess I had the, the beacon button lit. I just forgot to turn it on. Um, anyway, anywho, on. so the Utah DLC, let's talk about the Utah DLC. In my previous uh, video, I had mentioned that, you know, I like the DLC itself. Um, my only main problem I had with it is it's such a huge state. I mean, the state itself is massive. You can get, you know, they have an I-80 that goes literally almost straight through the middle of the state. You can get anywhere in Utah just by traveling up and down that, that interstate, uh, which is really nice. But it's such a big state, and, you know, they only had like, seven cities inside, if I remember correctly. Um, I might be missing that by one or two. I think, it was, I think it was seven states or seven cities inside the state. And that's what bothers me is if you're going to have such a massive state – you know, why not add more cities? There are so many other cities that have a lot of history um, inside of Utah that it's really kind of disappointing that they they skipped out on, on all of those. Um, you know, it's just, it's pretty unfortunate. I, you know, Mike, the company I work for, uh, we have a center in Salt Lake City, and I travel to Salt Lake City pretty often. And I get to see the state's, and get to, to travel inside of the state while I'm there. And again, so many things they could have done with it and they just kind of, I think they missed the mark with the, the number of Keep cities. Right. So if you're gonna buy the DLC, wait until it goes on sale, just to be honest, because it's, you know, $12, while it's not bad, if you look at how much money you're gonna have to spend over the next couple of years on DLC packs, you know, it's just, Wow, $12 times 50. Wow, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen that before. This must be a new road. I have not been on... It looks like I have been on this road before. I guess I just missed that last time. Uh, but anyway, you know, you're going to spend a lot of money on the game itself. And, you know, you might as well pay for something that's going to be beneficial to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy it just because I wanted to, to do a video. Plus, you know, I was really excited about it. And, you know, I will probably do that with the rest of them. But, you know, if you're stretched for money and you just, you know, not really sure if you want to spend the money on it, wait till it goes on sale, which we all know it will. They always do. And then you can upgrade to the newer DLC uh, when that happens. Just just because you'll, you'll spend a lot of time driving, but you're not going to be visiting. Oh, you're not going to be visiting a lot of, you know, special places. Um as many special places as you could have visited. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this is a pretty sharp turn. I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down a little bit just in case somebody's coming around at the same time I am. Oh my. I hope nobody does. This thing does not turn very well when you have this big of a load on the back. Make sure I'm not scraping the wall over here. I think I can actually scoot over to the right just a little bit. Not that there's enough back there to do any anything. Because my trailer is all over the road. Oh, boy. All right, that's better. Better. That's better. All right, let's see. About four hours left to go. Uh, it looks like I'll be getting there about 3.18 a.m. That'll probably change by the time I get there, though. Luckily, I'm fully rested. Got 180 miles to go. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's that's my that's my thoughts on on the Utah DLC. It is a nice DLC. Oh, there are also not enough mountains. Like Utah, the mountains, like especially in northern Utah, like where Salt Lake City and um, and those the surrounding Provo and all of them, there's huge mountains everywhere, and you can't look around without seeing the mountains and. I don't know. Uh, in here, it just seems like they, they missed that mark, too. They just kind of copied it off of other states instead of adding more and more mountains. I mean, I guess it makes sense when you don't live Go in that on. area, you know, that you know, it's hard to build a game when you don't live in that area. 
but you know if you went down if you got onto google and you did like google street view and looked inside of salt lake city you're surrounded by mountains surrounded by them okay where are we coming into now um Deshane? i don't really know historical marker i don't even know how to say that Deshane? 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 whoa really Really? What the world is that? What in the world is that? Learn how to drive. Wow. I don't know if I'm gonna have to shift down again. Good grief. Y'all see that? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, so yeah, I'm not getting over to that lane, especially with those trees like hanging over into the road. It's gonna beep at me in a second, tell me that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. It's gonna have to deal with it though. See I would put the mirrors Go uh, on. you know, you can add the mirrors onto the, the main screen so when you're looking around it's still there. But I like the game to be realistic and I'm not willing to do that. Like if I if I hit something, I hit something. It just it's a learning experience. But it is difficult because I've done this before and I hit a flag, a flag guys, a flag and it stopped my truck in a dead, dead stop, a flag, <laughs> not even the pole, just the flag because the truck wasn't taller than the flag was, so, or the pole hitting the flag, so, you know, it's not, it's not easy, it is not, it is not. Uh, did uh, I will go ahead and even though I did this in my last video I'm gonna go ahead and put you know how to get this where to get this and the the shifter um, where you can purchase those at this takes a long time to get um, this was I mean you're looking at two months before it's even shipped to begin with so they make it and it takes two months literally I mean it was almost to the day um, I knew when it was gonna ship and I finally got it, but it's two months. When you order this, it's gonna be at least two months before you get it at your doorstep, at least. So that took a long time. This, on the other hand, took about two weeks because uh, it comes from Canada. So, and that's just where I live in Arkansas. That's not you know necessarily if you live like more up north or something like that. You know, you might not have the same, but here I do. What river is this? Starvation Reservoir? I don't know if that's even what that said. A sailboat? A sailboat? <laughs> Good luck getting under this bridge, man. Good luck. Keep right, accept a pass. Oh boy, here we go. This is where he's going to test the limits of the truck. Oh boy, come on truck, you got this. You got this. Come on, you got this. Oh boy. There you go. Made it. That wasn't too shabby. It could have been a lot worse. Oh boy, this thing is so wide. I do love this special tra <clears throat> Wow, that was terrible. This special transport DLC is probably my favorite. And I'm glad when you buy it that you don't have to buy it for like each individual state. Uh, that it is, you know, when they add a new state, they add these special transport DLC missions inside the game. Uh, and then you basically, if you have it, then you can use it. Keep Because uh, I really do like it because it's, it adds some, some difference, uh, different things into the game that you wouldn't normally expect to see. Uh, and new challenges, you know, like with this one being so wide and heavy that it's it makes it Enjoyable to be driving down through here and you get to you know, you're not cruising at 40 miles an hour You know, well, I guess I am but you know 70 or 80 miles an hour trying to get from one place to the other uh, With these special transport you usually end up taking like back roads or like less traveled roads for most people uh, Which is really nice See, and I haven't been on this road before, it's telling me. So this is a, a brand new experience. 
experience. Yeah, that truck's like, I want to pass this guy. Not going to happen, bro. Not going to happen. I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Uh, I'm actually recording this video on the weekend. Uh, trying to get some videos recorded for this coming week. Uh, I do have a couple that I'm going to be releasing. I'm going to be doing more LSPDFR videos. It's been too long since I've done those. I've actually had some recorded, uh, but I just have not... haven't released them, and I don't know why, because I haven't edited them yet. And it's the editing part that gets on my nerves. <laughs> I love recording them. It's the, the editing part that's just such a drag. Such a drag. But there are... You know, I, I finally, because they, they had the new GTA update came out, the the update for the casino and when that happened it changed up the first person views and once it messed up the first person view it became really really difficult to um to play because i play with the steering wheel and the pedals and the control panel to use my lights my sirens you know use the steering wheel for the the spotlight and things like that and being in the game without first person you know you're all crammed in there and you you look like your mirror or your window oh my gosh my mind today you look like your camera is like right there on top of the steering wheel and it does become very difficult to be able to look around and see where you're headed or you know things that are happening on the right side of you to the left side of you especially if somebody's like um oh i'm a little too car far over especially if like you you're driving and there's somebody running or something like that running then um you know it's it becomes difficult so i finally fixed it to where uh, i can use the um i can use the first person inside the car there's nothing i can do about outside the car i think that's just a limitation with grand theft auto nowadays there's nothing that we can do about it port of entry one mile uh, but, you know, it, it, that is what it is. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do about that. But as long as I can do it in the game, that's what mattered to me because that's where I play the game is in first person, except for whenever I'm, you know, walking up to somebody's car. Obviously, it's a little bit different. A little bit different. So I'm going to be doing some more of those. I'm actually going to do a video on how to to fix that because I know a lot of people are having were having the same issue of not being able to be in first person. Uh, now, while I can't fix it outside the the car, you know, inside the car, that can that can help fix that. So, um, ooh, that guy. Oh, I was gonna say, does that guy get pulled over? But new, no, nope, he did not. It's a cool little little town right here. <laughs> Look at everybody with the cameras. So cool. Keep left. What hot air balloon doing up this late at night? Oh, I'm gonna turn on my blinkers. Turn left. I don't know if it's harder on the engine, like to do, like the engine brake. Like when you're you're driving really fast, I don't know if that's like a, a normal thing to do. Oh boy, that's a sharp turn. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> I killed it. I got really worried there. Alright, come on. Squeeze past it. Alright, as long as everything's still standing, that's all that matters. But now I gotta cut it back over here because I'm gonna hit stuff on the right side. Okay, we're clear. We are clear. Oh, that was it. I should have actually stayed in the, the lane and then cut across instead of actually getting into the turn lane. But I did not. Did not. El Mercado. Go straight on. Driftway Supermarket. All right, Provo, this direction. All right, so we have about 78, 77 miles. Looks like we're going to get there about 4.33 a.m., about an hour and 49 minutes left to go. I think the speed limit's pretty crazy through here, though. 40 miles an hour. I wonder if that's... That's got to be... Yeah, because that one's... 
that says the the suggested speed limit is 55. So, was that yelling? I mean, yeah. Well, please keep cargo between escort vehicles, but not a whole lot for me to do. I guess I should have actually downshifted. Or I went up to 11 instead of 12. But now well, 12 seems to be holding its own. I like when they put the lights in the uh, in the tunnels. It always weirds me out when they don't put lights in tunnels. I'm not sure why, but like when you're going through it like a normal tunnel, at least where I live, and I guess I don't go through tunnels that often, but where I live, they always have the lights through the tunnels so people can see in there. And some of the the tunnels in here do not have lights in them, and it's just really dark. Really, really dark. Okay. Get ready to turn right. Oh boy. I don't think I'm actually turning right. I think it's just a hang right. Recomputing. Oh gosh. Oh, I am turning right. Turning turn real right. right. Like hardcore right. Oh, and it's up a hill too. All right, uh, that wasn't too bad. I kind of took it a little too sharp for my liking, but I thought it was just gonna be like a hug right <laughs> as opposed to a full-fledged right turn. It happens though, it does happen. I gotta keep shifting now. I keep, I keep redlining it. I do. I also do like the. They have. They seem to have new models of buildings in this. Uh, this DLC, which is really nice. Uh, in the Utah DLC, they have a different, different cities uh, that have different, different buildings. Usually, you you can kind of tell like, oh, this is a, this is just copied. Go straight on. What the world are you doing? I'm trying. Oh wow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a right turn up here. The hug a right. I'm going to slow down. Hopefully this... Oh, good grief. Go straight on. I'm supposed to go through this, but I don't know how that... I'm going to get around that car. Oh, well, I'll just do it that way then. Oh! That was not the gear I meant to go into. Keep right. There we go. Uh, luckily, this looks like a more of a lean to the right <laughs> as opposed to a turn right. There we go. There we go. Don't no, don't wave them through. You gotta hold them. You guys over there waving those guys through. All right, here we go. Merging on to the interstate. Oh, another thing. I really wish they would fix is these on-ramps. Like, why is it a two-second on-ramp? They still do that after so many people have complained in the previous DLCs, even in the... When they first released California as the DLC, well, like, no, that wasn't even the DLC, the, the base game, California, they still, still, to this day, give you, like, a two-second on-ramp. I don't get it. I don't get it, SES Software. Fix that junk. I like being on the interstate so much more because of the... I don't have to worry about hitting things on the interstate. Like borders and rails and cars. All that junk. Crap, I'm getting off the interstate. That wasn't a lot of time. <laughs> oh, well... Oh Keep well. Keep right, and then exit right. State trooper. That's not even a state trooper vehicle, though. That's kind of disappointing. Exit right. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, they're because they're all white. Like the state trooper vehicles are all white. Keep left. I mean, if somebody lives there and they can tell me that I'm wrong, please do. But if I'm not mistaken, all of the state trooper vehicles 
Of course, I, I know they have highway patrol. I'm not sure about state though. Wow. What did they expect right here? What on earth did they expect right here? Am I hung up on something? I think I am. I am. Oh boy. This should be funsies. It's gonna start beeping at me. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> ah, deal with it. I'm going through some stuff, okay? I'm not sure that's gonna work. Nope. What's up? What's up, cop? I cut it to the right sharp. Oh, come on, baby. You got this. As long as I don't hit that cop car. Okay, I think I'm cleared now. Looks like I'm clear. Yep. Ooh, that could have been bad. Get ready to turn right. Oh, gosh. Turn right. <laughs> I'm going straight through the middle of these lanes. Good grief, got those signs on both sides. Forget that junk. I'm not trying to knock stuff down. Oh boy. This is what I like about the special transport DLC pack. This kind of stuff where it's not just it's it's out of the norm you know like because the norm is you pick up a trailer whether it's a single or a double of you know all that stuff you know they have different sizes right but nothing like this where it has multiple tandems you know it's just just big in general heavy you know so you have to go up certain um you know you can only go up certain hills <laughs> you know and then having to figure out where to shift and how to shift down and what gear you need to be in yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you get to do in those left. in the, this DLC as opposed to others. Turn left. And I like that. I like it a lot. I am not making the same mistake. I'm gonna stay in this lane right here. Even though this one actually has a lot more room for me to turn in. Still, it helps. Ah, now I'm going through a little housing neighborhood what is that is that a school I don't even know what that is on the right side I think this is like a university recreation center it has to be like a university what university is it to say on it uh, this that's City Hall Harriman City Hall I don't even know where the heck that is yeah yeah I'm talking about <laughs> more cities to deliver goods in and <laughs> I'm seeing all sorts of things I've never seen before. Wilbert. Go straight on. You go straight on. Tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. I do wish they had changed the voice of the character that like the, the person. Like I know you can change it, you know, I know you can go into the settings and change it, but she says things that are just it's not like a normal GPS. Like you can almost tell it's somebody doing it. Like She'll change her voice like, you have arrived. And, you know, weird things like that. It's like, mm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I want my GPS to sound like a GPS. At least that's how I feel. And that just me might be the old, the old person in me. The old geezer in me. I want my GPS to sound like my Google Go GPS. Nice little na neighborhood, though. What is that? You gotta love all the American flags everywhere. Sitting here looking around, not paying attention to the state trooper in front of me. I think we actually should be getting relatively close. Yeah, about 35 minutes. 24 miles. Oh, gosh. I hate going into turns with... Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Especially with those markers on the right hand side of the road. 
Because you hit those and you don't just go through them most of the time. It will do some damage. Some real damage. Of course, I prefer to be turning right than to turn left with those things. Like the, the curve, I prefer it to be curving to the right instead of to the left. Because to the left, your trailer stays into oncoming traffic. And honestly, I'd prefer to do damage to the trailer than to hit a car because it's a $900 fine when you hit a car. Oh gosh. Like this, I don't mind so much going to the right. It's to the left. Keep left. That bothers and then me. Turn left. That bothers me. All right, so I'm going to keep right. Turn left. <laughs> and then turn left. Actually, this one isn't too shabby. What is this? Oh my. What kind of junk do they expect me to be able to do in here? Oh gosh. Um. Um. Are they gonna open these? Oh, nope. Oh yes, oh thank gosh. I don't know how I was gonna get through there. Oh my gosh, my heart. What? <laughs> Did only one open? <laughs> um, all right, let's see if we can do this. Ooh. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to squeeze this through here. Maybe, just maybe, it'll open up when this thing gets up there. Really? What does it expect me to do here? <laughs> what on earth does it expect me to do here? All right, let's see if I can, if I can get the nose of my truck. Gum it. How far am I from that guy? Oh, I'm good. I haven't hit him. Let's see if I can get my nose over here just enough to get this one open as well. Huh? Nope. There we go. Now with both of them open, I can squeeze through. What? Really? <laughs> really? When did this one come down? All right, let's see if I can get this one to go up as well. Talk about a pain in the butt. Open this, open this door. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to the middle. Let's see, if this will work? Really? I mean, there's no way I can go that way. There's just, there's literally, logistically speaking, I would, there's no way I'd be able to go that direction. See, it's made me mess this thing up. I've been pulling on it so hard. There you go. I know, trust me. Come on. No! This is so annoying. So very annoying. Wow. I have no idea what to do. 
I would not make it through there without hitting every single sign. There's on the left side over there, I would not be able to do anything. And over here, I'm not going to be able to do anything with these, this door, like with these gates not opening up both sides. I, and I have no idea. Let me try. I, there's just no way. There's no way I can go this way and get enough. And I think I'm going to end up messing everything up even more than I already have. I mean, I guess if I try to hug this side and then jerk it over. Now, I've already hit a cone. The last second. Yeah, I'm scraping. Well, I'll take it. I don't know if that's the way I was supposed to do that. And I'm actually surprised that's all the... I didn't get more damage or anything on it. Okay, so the... I guess the other... The cop car is not going to lead me in here. Oh, this is a huge mine. Look at that. That's really cool. I have definitely not been here before. Man, they actually went all out. They got a tunnel into the mine and everything. Oh, it's a steep hill, too. Ugh, that was messed up. I want to see, see if there's any damage or anything I did on the... No damage, so I'll take it. I mean, it would have been nice. It's just, that was the... In my mind, I just kept thinking I'm going to knock everything over. And I'm actually surprised. I think me going that way and around actually helped as opposed to going the same way the cop car did, because the way the cop car did, I would have hit that barrier in a heartbeat. Oh man, talk about a steep hill. Turn my engine brake off. Oh my gosh. Come on truck, you can do it. Don't make me downshift. There you go. You did it. You did it. I'm proud of you. Okay, so I need to take a right here. Wow, this thing is huge. Look at the size of this thing, man. So I had to get my picture, <laughs> thumbnail picture, because it's really cool, the, the whole mine going on down there. Uh, I think I'm missing it all back there. Yep, I did. Yeah, this is really cool. I've never, this is, things like this I like delivering to. You know, while I don't mind, like, backing up to, like, a cargo bay or something like that, you know, I I don't mind doing that, but it is cool to do stuff like this that you're just not used to doing. That's just outside of the norm. And this, these corners are way too sharp for this big of a load. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm not going to scrape, but... I've got to be able to miss that light pole right there. I think I'm okay. Turn right. I think I'm okay. Oh my gosh, I got to take a right now. <laughs> ah, this must be an obstacle course for getting your uh, truck driver's <sighs> license. <laughs> Oh, and I got to take... Are you serious? I got to take a right here as well? No, it's up here a little bit. I was about to say, there's no way I can turn it that sharp again. I mean, even this is going to be tough. <laughs> oh, look at the pink truck. That's funny. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so I just got to drive it straight. <laughs> I can drive straight. Finally. Straight is not an issue at we all. We are here. We are here. Finally, we are here. 
I hope you guys like the more streamlined uh, webcam. Let me know down in the comments below if you just want to see more. But um, I kind of liked it streamlined more to where it was. I didn't get enough over here to cut this off. I mean, you get the microphone here, but uh, I really should have Ooh. kept it. I should have cut it over here a little bit more. Uh, ah, nailed it. Parking brake. Um, I forgot to turn on my flashers. I'm gonna turn the beacons off. Trailer brake. Gonna shut it off. And oh, gotta drop the trailer. All right. Your dumper has arrived. Big in America. Two achievements. You guys don't see them. I did get some achievements down the bottom left corner. 230 miles, 16 hours, 20 minutes it took me. 42.4 gallons. Um, pretty good amount of money. Almost 20, well, 19 and a half. Almost $20,000. A lot of XP, 945. Still an entrepreneur and level 17. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of America Truck Simulator. If you guys liked it, make sure to go ahead and leave a thumbs up down at the bottom. And make sure to leave down in the comments below what you guys think of the new equipment. Do hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.